Hi everyone, this is Kiki and I am coming to you live to share a statement that I want to make to the association community about uh, some recent events that have left many of us concerned. And I know that so many of us are, are worried about the direction that um, ASAE and the government is taking, but we're, we're, we're actually looking at the ways that each one of us um, are not only impacted as individuals, uh, but also as industries and as society as a whole. And so this, this message is really meant um, for us to be able to come together and to talk about it. So I'm going to read this statement and then I'm going to be open to responding to anything that you have to talk about. Association chat has always been a place where we are supposed to talk about the topics of the day. We're supposed to talk about the things that we're worried about or the things that we're concerned about. And now more than ever, I think that it is time that um, we come together and start some discussions that can be helpful and, and not just helpful, it can help us work through some of the hard challenges that we're facing for each of our associations um, and businesses that support associations. So let me read this statement and, uh, and then you know we can talk a little bit. I want to hear your thoughts too as we go along because I know that I know that there are a lot of people who are concerned out there. So let me let me get this out and, and then we can go from there. For the last seven years, I have served this community as host of Association Chat. And in this time, the community has grown and shifted in many ways, rightly reflecting the community that it represents. I have great love and admiration for both the association community and our country as a whole. Before I get into my personal thoughts, I wanna share a little bit about myself. I am from a small town in Southwest Missouri. My dad was a home builder, had his own construction business, and is a Vietnam vet, the leader of his platoon. My mom was a school teacher with a passion for teaching her grade school students about Abraham Lincoln. They were imperfect people raising imperfect children, and we did the best we could, which is, I think, what most of us can claim. Before I started my own business, my early career was spent working for associations. I became the, the host of Association Chat in 2009, and a couple of weeks ago, I received my ASAE membership anniversary card celebrating 11 years as a member. Yay! <laughs> I don't wanna hide any bias. I did not vote for Donald Trump, okay? Uh, so admittedly, when I saw the headline last week, Manufacturers and associations unite to offer support to Trump. I was concerned. I was concerned to read that ASAE President and CEO John Graham had signed a letter of support for the new Trump administration. Later, after looking into it, I saw that the letter was written before the election was decided. And it was, it was written to support whomever was elected into office. But here's the deal. The perception is out there. Um, now the perception is out there and many in the association community are upset and concerned. ASAE, I love you guys. I love you guys. Uh, this seems very off brand and it does not seem like the ASAE that I know. Is this the perception that you want to put out there. When people Google ASAE, is this the sort of thing that you want to come up? I do not believe that this is what ASAE stands for. But I do believe that now is a time when we need to hear from you on the commitment you have for diversity and inclusion. I'm behind you ASAE. I know we're better than this. I know it's more powerful to fight from the inside than the outside. So let's do this together. I'm waiting on you. Thank you. So there you have it, guys. There's a whole lot more that I wrote. 
<laughs> than just that statement. Uh, but here's the deal. Um, my role, I know that, you know, we meet together for association chat and it's mostly interviews and uh, a time for us to, to talk about whatever those topics of the day are. And they most definitely are not typically um, about politics, right, ever. Thank you guys, thank you. Um, but here's the deal. I, I think that this is a challenging and very complicated time because we need to we need to keep talking. We need to have these discussions. It is not easy. And I you can't even believe how nervous I was to get up and do this. But I realized this weekend that I have I have to take ownership over the responsibility that I have as the host of Association Chat to come out and say things that I think are really important and, and especially relevant to, to the community right now, but it's more than talking about membership models at, at some points, right? It, we have to talk about the things that are the hardest to talk about. And my God, if we can't do it here, like, right? If we can't do it in Association Chat, you know? I don't have to worry about advocacy people. Like, I don't have to worry about my relationship with the government. I mean, I have to worry about my relationship with my clients who fall on both sides of the aisle and all ways in between. But, but we should be able to have this conversation as a community and be able to work through the things that um, are the most difficult. Right, guys? So, whoo. <laughs> I was so nervous about getting up today. Um, and for those of you who know me personally, you know I have a whole lot more to say about this topic. Um, but officially, on behalf of Association Chat, this is where I think we are. And I think that what we need to do is continue to work on things and push ASAE to say, heads up, this is a perception problem you probably need to address right now because many of us who are members um, are are getting nervous or worried and and you know you want to make sure that you're clear on on where you stand so uh, Shelly thank you Greg thank you very much Joan thank you so so much um, I love you guys and feel free to spread this wherever I I created this statement with that intention in mind. I will be posting it also so that you can share that if you want to. Whatever I can do to help. But basically, um, I want us to be able to continue the conversation. So let me know what you think. Let me know, and good or bad, right? Good or bad feedback. Um, let me know how I can help. I love you guys, and I'll be seeing you. And tune in to Association Chat tomorrow because it's gonna be really good. It won't be talking about politics though. We'll be talking about investments. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon guys, bye.